So the company behind Hero UI just launched another AI powered coding tool called HeroUI.chat. So what set this apart is that this tool is designed for developers, designer, and startup founder. And the focus of this tool, at least according to the product hunt page, is that you should be able to create a beautiful design by default. So when you're creating a maybe a landing page or, or a product page or a pricing page for your application or your website, it's almost guaranteed that it's going to have a beautiful UI by default. So I think that's one thing that we can appreciate because many AI powered coding tools like let's say Bolt.new or Codium Windsurf or Anthropic Cloud Code they are usually relying on the user prompt when it comes to the design of the application. So it's always nice that we have AI that will take care of everything that is related to the UI and the front end. And also it is built based on the open source Hero UI library, formerly known as Next UI. So you should be able to access the library of this website. It has tons of options, which I think would be very useful for designers. And also, you get five credits every single day for a free account, which I think is really amazing because many tools are usually going to force you to pay before you can use their own tool. But it's always nice that we have a tool or AI power tool that can be used for free every single day. So I think that's a few important things that you need to know about uh, Hero UI Chat. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it and maybe what are a few things that you could generate using this tool. So first, uh, I actually have done some tests and this is a simple application, actually just a, a text editor that I created using AI. And I didn't say anything about what it should look like, but Hero UI just decided to have this kind of design, which I think looks amazing. Of course, it is not functional because uh, this tool is primarily for UI for the front end. So if you do anything like if you try to edit some text, like making it bold, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, maybe with a few more follow ups, I could make it work. But just keep in mind that this is not meant to be a complex website or application. If you want to build a landing page or a portfolio page for your business, I think this is totally makes sense. And it's also amazing that you can deploy the website right away. There is this one deploy button. And if you are a developer, you can always uh, go to the code and then you can download this code base and import it into your project. That's always appreciated. So in theory, you can edit the code right here and the UI is quite simple. This is definitely less complex than let's say Microsoft Visual Studio or Windsurf AI. A Hero UI is definitely for, I think for a lot more people, not for specific designers or programmers. This is for people that doesn't even know how to code or doesn't know anything about the technicality of building a product using AI. So I also compare Hero UI with Gemini. So this is just a website for my YouTube channel. I built that using Gemini. Uh, it is using Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is very, very new, literally was launched yesterday. And this is what it looked like. I think it looks okay. It looks modern and definitely I could use it for my channel. But this is the same website designed by Hero UI. I think it looks a bit better. It looks more modern. Of course, uh, I could improve the design even more. But given that I'm using a basic prompting, this looks awesome. So let me show you how you can build pretty much anything using Hero UI chat. So let's navigate to herouI.chat and then you can sign up for free using your Google account, your Figma account, and also your GitHub account. Now I have this prompt that I haven't tested, so I want to know uh, what kind of website that it will generate based on this simple prompt. Generate a 24 egg, sorry, 2040 uh, egg game with a re retro twist. And then here there is one unique feature called enhanced prompt. So it will make the prompt more specific. And yeah, this is the result. Uh, it's adding a bit more instruction. So hopefully the result is going to be a lot better. By default, since I'm using the free account, I can only uh, make the chat to be publicly visible. If you are willing to pay $20 a month, you could, you could make the chat to be private and you have access to more options and features. 
but let's just focus on the free account and also the same thing here if you want to enable the thinking mode then you have to be on the premium membership but anyway i think i'm done with the prompting let's send the message and just wait until uh, hero ui is building my website and i think it's only fair if you do it if you do the same thing to gemini so gemini 2.5 pro is known for its uh, coding capability let's compare that and let's enable canvas there is no prompt enhancer so it's going to be using just the default prompt and let's see whether or not it could be better or maybe worse than hero ui all right regarding the time i think hero ui is a bit slower than gemini at least according to my test but perhaps they do it because they have a lot of library to choose from they have library from hero ui so ai has to navigate to too many so many pages and decide what is the best design for the website and you can actually see the files right here and yeah i think this ui is going to be very useful for developers just to get an idea on uh, what file contains what code and later if you want to integrate that into your existing project that's going to be a lot easier Okay, Gemini is still doing the same. I guess I'm going to wait a little bit more until they have finished the project. Well, apparently Hero UI has finished the project and yeah, it is it is running the website. Although I didn't see anything here that usually would appear almost instantly but for some reason it does not appear okay let me refresh the page maybe there's something wrong okay there you go so this is the result of a 2048 game created by hero ui with the retro twist so let me use my keyboard and yeah it is definitely working uh it's there is no animation but it is definitely working just fine all right let's see uh, what is the gemini version so this is from gemini let me play the game and yeah it looks and behaves the same maybe it looks different but definitely working the same so if you were to ask my opinion about it i would say the look from gemini is a bit better i don't know what AI model that, that is being used by hero ui but the design looks definitely more modern than gemini but on the other hand i was asking, asking to create a retro video game so i would say gemini 2.5 pro is a little bit better here but given that it is giving me this game uh, with that speed and i have access to all the code base and i could even run npx on my code editors i think uh, this tool is going to be extremely useful for developers and also non-developers but anyway i think that's uh, basically everything that you need to know about hero ui chat if you want to see more videos like this one then feel free to subscribe to this channel and in any case i wish you a great day ahead take care